Hello and welcome to The Sci-Fi Show. I'm your host, Oscar Hillestrom, and this week we've got three trailers of awesomeness. The most interesting thing you'll find out from all these latest iterations of internet excitement is that you're going to find out a bit too much. The Dark Knight Rises uh, features Joseph Gordon-Levitt. He's standing around not doing much. Wonder what he's doing. Could it have something to do with the fact that Batman is going to have his back broken by Bane and a new Dark Knight is going to have to rise? Hmm. Now, of course, when it comes to Prometheus, I could not be more excited by a film. So, of course, I'm very excited to see this new trailer, and when I did, I was a little bit horrified to see that they'd given away the alien. Not a whole lot, just a bit. Um, you kind of get the face hugger uh, aspect of the alien, and you get to see the space jockeys running around a bit, which is a bit of a shock, because frankly, the whole thing with space jockeys is that they're a mysterious alien race. Still though, looks like Charlize Theron's character. Vickers is very much the Burke of the piece. Yay, aliens reference. So we're very excited by that. And our third trailer is for The Amazing Spider-Man. If you're gonna steal cars, don't dress like a car thief. We found my weakness. It's small knives. Now, The Amazing Spider-Man has an interesting take on the traditional story that you think you know, but of course, if you go back to 1966 comics, well, it's a little bit closer to the truth. You will see the lizard in action. Good thing is, Spidey and the lizard can both run on ceilings, which is important if you want to keep that battle going. In other movie news, uh, Chloe Moretz, who of course you remember as Hit Girl in Kick Ass, has been cast as Carrie in the upcoming Carrie remake. Now, the film's going to be directed by Kimberly Pierce, who's of course the director of Boys Don't Cry. And it means that there's going to be some more psychological delving into the character as opposed to just chucking about pig's blood. So if you want to know what it's like to be a terrified, religious, psychopathic, telekinetic teenager, you're about to find out. Good news, everyone. A Walking Dead video game is now available. Well, actually, it's only the first episode of five episodes that's going to be available on your computerized digity gadgeties. It's all very exciting if, of course, you like point and click adventures rather than left for dead, run and gun, zombie slasher, fragaholic death. Da, 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 da. I need my fragahole, motherfucker. So, I think if you do enjoy The Walking Dead and that kind of more cerebral approach to the people who just won't die, then this could be the game for you. So there you have it, the week in sci-fi. If you're watching this a couple of months from now, I'm sorry it's out of date, but you just missed it by that much. And remember, the Force will be with you always. Unless, of course, you're Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru.